Hello Fall. Let's glam. <laughs> Today we're going to do a full face and we're going to be using my Top Picks Top Notch Top Shelf Luxury Beauty. Let's get started. Well, hello again. How are you? I'm Mo, which is short for Monique. Here on my channel, I review, test out, and share all things luxury beauty and skincare. If you're into that stuff, consider subscribing. And if you like today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It is officially fall, guys. I am so here for it. You know, I live in Florida. It doesn't really feel like fall yet, but... I'm wearing a sweater. <laughs> and for this full face of luxury glam, I am collaborating with Steffi Glam, mi hermosa amiga. Yes, Steffi Glam is newer to YouTube, but ever since she started, she is nonstop. She is on it. She is dedicated. She works so hard to make sure to bring us the newest and the best of the best. So I'm really excited to be collaborating with her and I'm really excited to see what products she picked for her top luxury for fall. So I'm gonna have all of her information linked down below in the description box for you and I'll definitely put it up in the cards. So head over to her channel, show her some love, join her family and her new journey here on YouTube. All right, let's get started. So I have already done my brows and I used my Gucci and my Marc Jacobs. And everything that I use in today's video will be listed down below in the description box for you. So before I start, I'm going to apply a little lip prep for these lips so that while I'm doing all the other stuff, it has time to absorb and nourish my lips and get it ready for whatever lip product I decide to go with because I have a few options today, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do. <laughs> but I'm going to be going in with my Le Mer, the lip volumizer. As you can see, we are pretty much finito with this product. It is that good. This is something that nourishes and smooths the fine lines. I'm going to start off with the eyes today. And the palette that I chose for my must-have for top luxury fall 2020, Natasha Denona Metropolis palette. Oh yes, this is my most used, most loved Natasha Denona palette, hands down. And I have every single one of her palettes. I'm gonna prime my eyes with my Hourglass Veil eyeshadow primer. It does a great job at smoothing and allowing shadows to adhere to your lid quite nicely. So while the eyeshadow primer just sits for a moment, I like to go ahead and prep and prime my skin. And that primer is the Sicily Double Tinsure. This primer is skincare. It leaves your skin supple, plump, and beautiful. So I go in with just a pump and I go ahead and apply that. So by the time I'm ready for my face makeup, we're all ready to go. Azoic? I think that's the name of it. Check out a GSN 10 and this shade here, Azoic. I'm going into my crease with this shade. Some may call this palette colorful, but I see so many wearable looks in it. It's, uh, I love it. The formula is amazing. The color story is perfect for fall. Natasha, I love the size of this palette too. I hate this thing. So maybe next time if she does a palette this size, she'll just put the names on it, you know? I'm gonna take a BK Beauty 202 brush and go into that same shade. And I'm gonna work on building up the gradient. So we're gonna keep it in the crease, but then bring it up just a little bit. And bring it to my outer eye area as well. I'm gonna do my brow bone highlight. I'm gonna be using a single shadow from Sicily. This is in the shade Matte Nude. I'm forever gonna be a fan of single eyeshadows. And I love this one for brow bone highlight. And if you wanna do something quick and easy on the lid, 
inner tear duct kind of thing. A shadow like this is gonna be good. Some W21, and I'm gonna go into this shade here, Noble. And I'm gonna apply that to my lid. Now these shadows apply beautifully with your finger as well, especially if you want a little more pop. Sony G Builder 3 brush, and we're gonna go into this shade here, Queen, and that's gonna be the inner tear duct highlight. With my finger, I'm gonna go into this shade here, Shield. I'm just gonna tap that on the center of the lid. It's just a little bit more green than the one that's already applied. And it's going to be subtle because the pop of color is going on the lower lash line. I'm going to do a little bit of a wing because we're going to wear some lashes today. And for that, we're going to be using Le Old Faithful Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen. This is the one that's dual ended. And it has to be the longest lasting liquid liner I have ever owned and used. So she's highly recommended. I went ahead and applied my eyelashes. So I'm gonna work on my face and then we'll come back to the eyes. So we already did our primer, so it's already nice, ready to go. So for my fall luxury top pick foundation, we are going in with the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation. I'm going to be applying this foundation with the Juno & Co sponge. Now this sponge, let me see, I wanna to try to make sure you can see it. This is a microfiber sponge, and what it does is it doesn't allow as much product to be absorbed. Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation SPF of 50. I'll take the SPF year round, but this definitely is a very natural, skin-like, radiant, beautiful foundation. It wears really well for long periods and it's just simply beautiful. I'm intentionally avoiding my under eye area because I'm going in with concealer and no need to, you know, put any extra in that area because we're gonna get to it in a moment. Do you see how natural the finish is? And I don't even need to use a lot to achieve that. And whatever is left on the sponge, I go on my forehead with it. I personally don't like to put a lot of product on my forehead. Onto concealer. I have a little concealer cocktail for you. And these concealers are also skincare. So the more you use them, the better your skin looks. And the delicate under eye deserves all the love that it can get. So without further ado, we'll be using the La Prairie and the Sicily Concealer. The La Prairie is nice and brightening, and then the Sicily is a little more color correcting concealing, but together, they're magical. <laughs> so we're gonna twist up just a little bit because we don't need a lot of this. And immediately I clean her off. And then the Sicily. The texture on the Sicily is also a little bit thicker. And then whatever's left on the applicator, I'll bring it out here. And then clean it off immediately. Now for these products, I prefer using my finger to blend them in. They're both nice and hydrating and comfortable to wear on the under eye. They're perfect for everyday wear as well. And they give enough coverage, whereas if you wanna use them on a full glam day like today, they will work just beautifully.
Now that is what I like to call a luxury concealer cocktail. These concealers really perform beautifully, both set and not set with powder. And again, I really give it to the skincare benefits that are added into these products that allow you to do that. Because any other concealer that I don't set, oh, oh, it is not cute. <laughs> this is the Giorgio Armani A Contour Fluid Liquid. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but this is a very beautiful liquid contour. I love it for my nose especially. Very easy to work with. I like that it's a little more subtle. I know that we're going more glam and that this contour is more subtle, but we'll make up for it with our bronzer. <laughs> so to set everything, I'm going in with the La Prairie Skin Caviar Loose Powder. This powder is <sighs> one of the best. It really is. I honestly don't love the packaging because you have a nice, beautiful mirror here, but how are you going to use it? <laughs> There's powder always on it, but the product is beautiful. This is my Le Mer, the powder brush, and I am just pressing the powder into my skin. Now I'm going to just focus it on my T-zone because I do have combination skin. The beautiful thing is this powder does work really nicely on my drier areas as well, but... We don't need to set that today. So for bronzer, we're going in with the Gucci bronzer. I have her in the shade number four. It gives a beautiful glow to the skin and of course, your warmth. So I just press it into the skin so we don't disturb anything that we've already done. And I go very lightly. For highlighter, we're going to be using the Westman Atelier Lit Ups Highlighter Stick in the shade Lit. This highlight gives the most beautiful, truly universally flattering glow to the skin. I do like to apply it with my sponge. Oh, do you see how beautiful? And the great thing about this highlighter is I can apply it over my fully done face and it doesn't disrupt my makeup at all. And it stays like this all day. It's amazing. We love hydrated, healthy skin year round, right? And for blush, we are going to be going in with a Chanel blush. This is in limited edition packaging, but the actual blush is not limited edition. This is Rouge Profound. Such a beautiful color. I'm taking a Wayne Goss number 14. This brush really helps more bold, bright, pigmented blushes apply more diffused and soft. And you see how I was able to go over that cream highlighter with no issues. Just beautiful. Such an amazing formula. And this blush, hello. So for my lower lash line, we're gonna bring a little bit of color. I'm gonna go into Royal, and then I'm gonna go into Lethal. And this is a Isom T05 brush. And I am focusing that super close to my lower lash line. And then with the Sonia G Pencil Pro brush, we're gonna go into the lighter green lethal and just kind of smoke out the lower lash line. So for the waterline, we definitely want something that's going to last us all day in our full glam. I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Olive You. Isn't she so pretty? These are so long lasting. It's scary almost, like how? And this color is perfect. 
for today's look. I'm gonna go ahead and remove that lip prep that we put on way, 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 way earlier. I'm going in with a long lasting, super creamy, beautiful color lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk 3 Intense. And in true Mo fashion, we are going to be doing a lip cocktail. I'm going in with a Gucci lipstick. And this is Mona Leslie Cameo. This one we're gonna focus on the outer portion of the lip. This lipstick is so good, especially for a matte. The formula is so comfortable. You can wear it all day, all night and not even have one complaint. It's so good. To complete the lip cocktail, I'm gonna be going in with my Gucci Penny Beige. This one is in the satin finish. The mattes are in the packaging like this, and the satins are in the package like this. So Penny Beige is probably my most used Gucci lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> and she's a nude. She's like a beigey nude. I mix this with almost everything. <laughs> So I'm gonna apply this to the center portion of my lip. And just take my finger. Here is our finished look. This is my top shelf, best of the best when it comes to luxury for fall. Don't forget, head over to Steffi Glam's channel, show her some love. I can't wait to go watch and see all of her luxury picks for fall. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Let me share this look with you. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. Stay beautiful, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.